Hello everyone. Today, we are going to show you the step-by-step -step procedure for setting up the TensorFlow environment and installation procedures in the Python tool. TensorFlow is an open source software library for numerical computation using Dataflow graphs. Nodes in the graph represent mathematical operations, while the graph edges represent the multidimensional data arrays, tensors, communicated between them. TensorFlow was originally developed by researchers and engineers working on the Google Brain team within Google's Machine Intelligence Research Organization for the purposes of conducting machine learning. For installing this we need some prerequisites they are as follows. JDK Anaconda Distribution 4.4.0 Python version 3.6, 64-bit, version TensorFlow installation documentation Now, go to the home page of Anaconda Distribution, using the link https colon slash slash anaconda.com slash distribution, and click download button is shown. It gives you access to the page, where you could manually select the Python package, with respect to the version and your system specifications. I recommend you to download the latest version of Python, that is Python 3.6. Once you download the setup file, start the installation procedure by running the file as administrator, which in return opens the setup box of Anaconda 3.4.4.0. So, click next to continue, and accept the agreement by clicking the icon I agree, in order to install Anaconda in your system. Then select the installation type either for one user or for all users as per your requirement. Then click next button, where you can select the location manually for installation, just by specifying the path or else you can use the default location. Then click next button. And you can see the available options to customize your integration of Anaconda with Windows, by selecting add Anaconda to the system path environment variable. Now click next to load all the packages and libraries. Once it gets finished, click next and you can see the installation is successful. Now your system can use Python 3.6, by selecting the Anaconda Navigator as shown in screen, where you can see various Python programming platforms. Now, let us start the installation of TensorFlow, and I am going to show you all the steps in the command prompt. First, open the prompt and run the Python command to execute it. Once you execute it, you can see here, the version of the Python is displayed as 3.6.1. Just in case, you can also refer the procedure for TensorFlow installation, in the TensorFlow webpage as shown. Now, initiate the process with the following steps. First, create a conda environment named TensorFlow, by invoking the command as follows. Conda create, hyphen n, TensorFlow. Python equals 3.6. Remember to give spaces to every word here in the command before execution. Once you execute the command, you can see the new packages, including the Python upgrade in version 3.6.2. So, we need to install all packages for TensorFlow, by typing Y, which means yes in prompt, which precedes the installation. Then, you can see all the packages are successfully installed. Now, Activate the TensorFlow environment by executing the command as follows. Activate, TensorFlow. Once you activate it, your prompt should change into, TensorFlow inside the brackets, followed by the default prompt as shown in screen. Finally, install the TensorFlow by executing the command as follows. pip, install, hyphen ignore, hyphen installed, hyphen upgrade, TensorFlow. Now, you can see it is collecting and loading all the libraries of TensorFlow, and installing them inside the Python. Finally, the installation of TensorFlow is successfully completed. Now, validate the TensorFlow in the Python, to check whether the packages, are properly installed and active. To do that, open Python prompt and execute a simple program, which uses TensorFlow libraries, and executes, hello, TensorFlow, as output. Execute the following code as follows. Import, TensorFlow, as, tf. Here we are importing the TensorFlow package, and giving alias name as tf. Then, use the function, tf.constant, to execute the input value we have provided, and assign this value to the new object by name, hello. Hence, the value will be stored in the object, 
and the object can be called further for output execution. Next, create a session variable by name, sass and execute the function called, tf.session. Session variable in TensorFlow, initializes the variables used, and stores the value inside the variable, which can further use to develop graphs. Then, call the object hello, by running the session variable using, sess.run, and print the value stored inside the object, by using print function, and the output will be shown as, hello, TensorFlow. Now, let us see the procedure for getting access to the tensor board. Tensor board is a suite for visualization tools, which makes you easier to understand, debug, and optimize the TensorFlow programs. In order to achieve access, first you need to go to the C drive in your local system, and create a new folder by name, temp, and inside temp, create a folder by name, TensorFlow underscore logs. Whenever you run the TensorFlow program, the session variable gets initialized in the code, and all the variables in the code are utilized, to perform the visualization graphs in the tensor board. So, when the code gets executed, an event file is generated, in the specified file location, tensorflow underscore logs. This event file acquires, all the summary information to plot the graphs, in the tensor board. Then, copy the file location, in order to use the path, while connecting to the tensor board. Next, open the command prompt, and execute the following command as follows. Tensor board, hyphen log, dir equals c, backslash temp backslash tensorflow, underscore, logs, hyphen port 6060. The copied file location, is pasted in this command as log directory, which gets accessed by the tensor board, and board can be connected through the port number 6060. Once the command is executed, a web link is generated as tensor board 0.1.7 at http colon slash slash automation colon 6060. Now, open the web browser and use the link generated for tensor board, and you can see tensor board is displayed in the browser. Now, click the inactive icon, and you can see the various plots that can be utilized for the visualization. For more clear representation, I have taken a sample TensorFlow program in the Spider IDE, which can be launched in the Anaconda Navigator. Now, you can see the code of TensorFlow program in the Spider, where I need to specify the event file log directory location, in the code as shown in the screen. After modification, I have executed the code. Now, you can see the event file has got generated, in the log directory by name, TensorFlow underscore logs. Since this file, automatically gets accessed by the tensor board, open the tensor board in the web browser. Now, you can see the plots occurred in the scalars, graphs, distributions and histograms. All the visualizations, are interactive, and the information is displayed, when the cursor, moves along the graphs. So, this is the step-by-step -step procedure, to install, and set up the environment of TensorFlow and get access to the tensor board for proper data visualizations. That's all for this video. For any queries please reach us at vj.ready at songum.ai.